Welcome back. <clears throat> Got owned again by the alien. Big surprise, right? It's full of surprises. Not dying. But we did see a guy get chased down and eaten by the alien, which is pretty funny. Yeah, I was just like, oh no! And then he died. Five, zero, five. Samuels, I'm on my way. I don't know why I keep saying that, because I already used it. It's got to hell in here, Samuels. but not the one that had the alien. If you're unfamiliar with the alien, I mean, it's been in this game a little bit already, but... They start out as this weird spider thing called the facehugger. And as its name suggests, it jumps on your face. Drops a egg embryo down into your chest, which then hatches and breaks out of your chest. And then turns into this thing. <clears throat> Lovely life cycle, right? But this is the equivalent. Yeah, the thing where it's hunting like us death. is the equivalent of um, a worker in an ant colony. I mean, it's not the big bad. The big bad is the alien queen, and that thing's like five times bigger than this thing. So, yeah. Going to space. Things worse than us. It'll be an adventure. Asshole. They honestly need to, after this game. They need. She never left the others. shooter or something within this specific imagining of the universe like the lovely graphic detail um, I mean heck I mean remake Alien vs Predator 2 with these graphics and you'd have an awesome game my opinion. Ugh. That game with improved visuals like this, that was an amazingly fun game. I'm maybe just remembering it fondly. I've done that with several other older games I've gone back to. And as a kid, I loved them, and now I'm like, holy cow, they suck compared to today's standards. Go with the space, they say. It'll be an adventure. Assholes. Trauma room, trauma theater. We're gonna find patient zero, the one that had the chest burst that became this drone. That's what I love about the imagining. You see, the entire point, the entire point of the alien in the alien movies was that it was the ultimate. Was that it was the ultimate predator. 
um, ultimate, like, apex monster that couldn't be stopped. A thing in the dark that would eat you. Oh, you are so dead. Oh, you don't hear that alien, really? It's freaking talking. So stupid. So, they got that image down to have this game. I got that image down perfectly in this game. So, I mean, I can't imagine a colony of aliens then, like they had in AVP2. I mean, it made me realize playing this so far how weak they made the aliens in that game. I've got nets, yeah. Uh, I hope they're predator quality. I mean, maybe they can catch it. But, if you ever saw the uh, Alien vs. Predator movie, while it worked somewhat, the acid from the alien burned through a the alien's blood is acid, burned through the uh, net and killed the predator. The predator was about to kill him, but he was taking his time, of course, and then the tables turned on him. You know, Moltov still missing the blasting cap. I can just get a freaking blasting cap. Let's get to full health here, shall we? No, I'm missing that too. Great. San Cristobal Medical Facility recommends seek some medical assurance. Relief when you're far from home. So, anyways, I want to see a game set in this same exact premise. Um, even as a sequel, or maybe just a spin-off in, within the same design frame, same development team, and have them do a game where like the weapons like feel like really awesome. I felt like that when I played uh, Outlast as well. That that game, its graphical quality and premise, would make an awesome shooter. Not necessarily like that. I wished it on, instead of Outlast, like. I, I love the way they took out last with no weapons and you just run in for it. I love that premise, which is why I'm playing this game. But, just as another game, that'd be awesome. Many people have said other than me. That the Murkoff, uh, not Murkoff, that that game has reminded them of um, fear, especially the end part of it, like the white lab and SWAT officers were killed and stuff.
almost there. Maybe. Oh. I really miss it. If I die now, I'm gonna be so sad. Yep. Guessing this patient zero. Sure looks like it. Samuels. I've got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots. And if we heard them, so did the creature. Oh, shut up, dude. The creature's with me still. Instead of talking, I want you to hide in the locker. I remember as part of the life cycle of the alien. Speaking of the devil. This is part of the life cycle of the alien. Xenomorph life form. Anyways, act uh, as part of the alien life cycle. Chest first or comes out of there. When the chest worser comes out in the game, part of the life cycle is you have to go find a place to eat something and so you can grow into a drone and uh, you end up finding like a kennel type of place where people's pets are, like uh, cats. And you just hear the chest worser break into one of the cat cages and uh, the cat trying to fight it off and the chest burster just eats it. And um and then it turns into a drone. It evolves basically, you know, grows and sheds the skin and it's a drone. Kinda of like a bug. And they are kind of insect like and they are hive like and whatnot. Turner, we've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a panic. And one other thing. If I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. He turned up, quoted seeks and privileges, and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. This is a serious incident. I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait's up. Someone's mad. <laughs> it's all classified. Wonder who 
she was and how she ended up with the chest pressure on her. Well, I mean, I know how it ended up in there, just like how she came in contact with the face hugger to begin with. That's what I'm curious about. Looks like that's where the chest pressure crawled out and ran off. Yummy. Ooh, revolve ammo. if I went around back around that way. Although I could go try to save it. Yeah, progress. Don't really want to lose this progress I made. Stupid thing is so unpredictable though, I mean. If I die, between those save points, that I'm nervous because then I have not much progress. For that, get a little more safe to explore a little bit more. Because even if I die, I don't have to go as far. At least plotting my steps. If I ever get the chance to throw a noise thing right in the middle of a bunch of like guys though that are like just gonna kill me because they're Total complete jerk faces. I will laugh so hard. Oh wait. Oh, yeah. oh it's right all the food is coming. I go, like, okay. Let me track my alien friend. the radar scheme from Alien vs. Predator 2 in this game and I'm chilling. Like it already is, but I'm not like criticizing it really. It would be it would be freaky. Considering uh <laughs> the one that was just like it's like boom, 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 pulse and then you'd see it dot and it'd just be like the way they did it was just, it was just haunting, like, I mean, I was a kid at the time, but, you know, I was honestly probably too young to play that game at the time, and that was probably one of my first legitimate scary games, and I don't think I expected that when I played it. Okay. 
players. stop here um continue again so thanks for watching and we'll be back